what most attracted me uh, about Lina was the fact that being an Italian architect who embraced the social ideals of the modern movement, when she went to Brazil, she merged with the culture and she adopted the popular culture of Brazil and she promoted it in every single discipline she worked, whether it was her writings, set design, architecture, the exhibitions she curated. So I had a bit of architectural exhibition fatigue, so I wanted to do something so different from all the other architectural exhibitions. We decided that we would go and work with the children of Brazil and we would do a workshop and make them do things out of cardboard and recycled stuff, bottles, anything that would bring along. I found children always boundless in creativity and in imagination, and spontaneity, everything that Lina was herself. She wanted to really immerse herself totally in the culture and that's what we try to do with this exhibition. Lina dissolved the boundaries between high and low. She brought together people from different social backgrounds, from different ages, from very different disciplines when she designed her projects. And uh, Cés Pompeia is uh, the best example of all this. Sao Paulo is one of those places where I always wanted to go because I knew it's a big, ugly, bad city. It was then interesting to experience Cest Pompeia, which is like a utopian microcosm within this city. I love the way how Cest Pompeia is uncompromising in terms of the monumental brutality of the forms, but somehow the way uh, people use the space, it becomes very welcoming. I wanted to capture the moodiness of that place the way people are able to meet each other and make connections and uh, socialize, but also how, how it gives an opportunity for people to be by themselves in a social environment. Even now, 30 years after it was created, it still pushes the boundaries of uh, what Brazil as a society could be. It was great when Marlon and Tapio met because the chemistry between them was great and, and they were mutually inspired. All these elements are mixed in this setting that Assemble has created. We wanted to work with them because we like very much the way they do not believe in a separation between designing and building and we feel that they really captured Lina's spirit. They, there's a very good connection between the objects and the films and the space. Recentemente a sua obra vem tendo a atenção de artistas, como é o caso da exposição Together é, com as obras de Madelon, é, e também com os filmes, as gravações de feitas por Tapio. Isso essa atenção gera produções sobre a obra de Lina, não mais simplesmente a apresentação da sua obra. Isso significa uma interpretação que acaba renovando a sua produção e a sua presença no mundo contemporâneo. Lina was Italian, Arpa is an Italian company. Just from that it felt that there was a connection there, but actually the connection is much deeper than that. Many of Lina's values are very connected with Arpa's values. Their support kept growing with the project to the extent of going beyond sponsoring the exhibition, but also embarking on this project of the ball chair. Nella the ball chair, we think we have the right trade union between the suo modo di pensare, quindi espresso nel progetto, e poi mai realizzato effettivamente a livello diciamo industriale. Sto realizzando questo, pensiamo di poterlo portare nel uh, avanti nel futuro con questa edizione diciamo limitata e che quindi crei questo legame tra il passato e il futuro. It really couldn't be a more perfect exhibition because it very much expresses the uh, 
the idea of a, a cultural exchange and um, the subject of the exhibition Lena Bobardi and Cesc Pompeia are just such wonderful uh, framework for, for discussing all of the art form practices that we have at the British Council. Bringing together this cultural life is, is what Lena's work was all about.